Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Bad move. Eight huge retailers just turned on Trump. Will now never be the same. Backlash has begun. President Trump has notoriously been good for businesses of all kinds, especially retailers who have benefited from his unprecedented overhaul of the economy. When he first took office, he was left with a nation in distress, on the verge of the next Great Depression, thanks to his predecessor's problems. In record time, he made America stable and great again, even financially thriving in a number of ways. Brick-and-mortar retailers were on the edge of failure with online shopping replacing the need for physical stores, but Trump stopped a complete collapse and now business is booming once again, at least for those who didn't decide to turn around and stab him in the back for this good deed. In a time when department stores are struggling to compete with sites like Amazon, just to stay afloat, it's a bad strategy to lick the gift horse in the mouth who just helped their cause. Once they realized the mistake of their bad decision, it had already backfired. There's no coming back from this. There was a domino effect of big box stores cancelling their contracts with first daughter Ivanka Trump who was a successful businesswoman before she was a respected political figure. They disagree with her father's politics, so in turn, they wanted to punish his daughter financially by ripping all her products off their shelves. However, President Trump isn't playing their stupid game anymore and just returned the big insult with a huge injury. Despite the fact that department stores are a dying breed and Ivanka's line was probably what was helping keep them afloat, these three retailers committed corporate suicide in making a really ridiculous statement. A total of now seven stores, both online and brick and mortar have cut ties with Ivanka, all for nothing she has done, other than simply being born to a man who is now our new leader. Nordstrom led the charge this week, by pleasing liberals everywhere who probably don't even shop there that they aren't selling her wares anymore. Hours later, Belk joined the anti-Ivanka brigade and decided they too would drop her, and today TJ Maxx stores took part in the disgraceful trend too. These physical stores are followed by a slew of online retailers who previously cut her out of their inventory. This isn't a business decision, it's personal, and Donald Trump doesn't appreciate it as he made known today. Using his favorite form to say what needs to be said fast without a single care for who is offended by it, Trump took to Twitter to put the final nail in the coffin of these retailers who brought on their own demise. My daughter Ivanka has been treated so unfairly by Nordstrom, the president wrote. She is a great person, always pushing me to do the right thing. Terrible. He added. It was only a matter of time before liberals came out hating on his defense of his daughter, which was met with White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer immediately putting them in their place by saying that the president was responding to an attack on his daughter, which was exactly what it is. Nordstrom reportedly made their decision to sever their sales relationship with Ivanka since they disagreed with her father's immigration ban. Many of the other stores were encouraged by liberal feminists who somehow think that they are empowering women by destroying a successful woman's brand and income. The big box department store, Belk, decided to bum rush their demise by dumping Ivanka and can now say goodbye to their already dwindling customer base since it's most prominent in the proud conservative South. Trump is good for business, liberals are not but this seems to be a hard concept to grasp despite the painful consequences. Oh well, enjoy your statement, Belk, Nordstrom, and the other, you'll all be irrelevant much sooner than later, especially now that our president just spoke out against your practices. You picked the wrong side to partner with and now you're going to pay. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.